Hello and welcome to Shunk. My name is James Norris and I'm an application engineer here and today I'll be talking to you about FlexGrip Tools. FlexGrip Tools is one of our solutions to the challenge of flexible and efficient automation. In today's world, automation has become very accessible and as a result, we're automating more tasks than ever before. And one of the main reasons for this is the ease of use brought on by new technologies and products within the space. One such example is the introduction of Cobots, where now a customer can purchase a robot and easily program their task in a couple of hours. This is an immediate contribution to that quick return on investment. And here at Chunk, we know that your end of arm tool should have that same level of efficiency. Traditionally, when talking of end of arm tooling for your robot, we have a complex design that takes a lot of time and a lot of energy to manufacture. And here are a couple examples. So first we have a solution with one of our parallel two jaw grippers with a custom adapter plate as well as a custom set of fingers. This finger set has a step in the jaw which allows you to grip on a wider diameter of parts without actually having to have a gripper with a very, very long stroke. Um, here we also have an offset adapter plate to that robot risk that allows you to approach your part and approach your grip station in a specific way. This other example is a setup where you have a custom adapter plate back to your robot wrist that allows for the mounting of two separate grippers. And the two grippers are used to grip onto this piece with a custom set of fingers as well as hose-free and, and direct electronic collect connection for the sensors. So here we have, again, a custom adapter plate, custom fingers, and two grippers that just takes time to design and set up. With FlexGrip tools, we try to attack this problem with a really easy solution that you can build on hand. So here we have an example of a custom adapter plate and a custom set of, of two grippers with custom fingers here on one side. And on the other side, we have our standard solution that can be built from FlexGrip tools. Here we have another solution that is a, you know, problem with two, an offset adapter plate that allows for two grippers for a machine tending application. You have direct hose-free connection to that gripper so you're not dealing with hoses um, that goes back to your, to your robot um, and to where you're controlling your valving. And here again, we have a flex grip option which is much or less the same exact tool that will do the job just as well, but now you have something that you built standardly in a fraction of the time. So along with building you know, custom tools, we can also just immediately outfit that tool to match up to whatever application is in that setting. So here we have an example where you know, traditionally if you mount a gripper off the end of this robot, you're not actually going to be able to fit into this small machining cell. You can see that our robot here is being constrained by the size of that machining cell and is hitting the wall. You can't actually load the part as it's meant to. So instead of redesigning your tool, coming up with a new adapter plate or a new idea, with FlexGrip tools, you can simply redesign on the spot. And the simplest way to redesign this for an effective, effective tool is to simply offset that gripper. So here, instead of loading the robot, or ro loading the tool directly off the robot wrist, we have an offset gripper where the robot can approach its destination in a different way, load and unload that part with ease. And so now we're going to go into a little bit more depth on what sort of uh, products are within the scope of FlexGrip tools and how you can utilize them. So in a standard FlexGrip tool setup, you're going to have your adapter plate back to the robot. You're going to have your basic construction kit, which allows you to position the grippers how you need in your custom tooling solutions. And then you'll also have the gripper itself and the fingers for the gripper. And within the scope of FlexGrip tools, you're able to consistently redesign and design based just from that basic instruction kit, the gripper itself, and the adapter to the robot. So starting off with that robot adapter, we have two variations and options that can be used. One is just a simple adapter plate with an ISO pattern that will fit onto that robot wrist, and you build off of that dovetail. And from that, you can also have a a valve box set which will allow you to have all of your 
valving right up there at the robot risk with one cable back to your controller and one airline for supply. So it just minimizes the amount of excessive hosing, hoses and um, power lines. So what's in a construction kit? A construction kit is gonna have a number of different aluminum extrusions as well as different types of variable adapters where you're connecting you know, simply dovetail to dovetail, maybe you're offsetting that in an angle, maybe it's a right angle specifically, maybe you need 90 degrees, whatever. This tool will allow you to build that full range of um, tool scopes. So in a gripper kit, this is everything that'll come with it traditionally. Now obviously we have a, quite a few grippers that are within that scope of flex grip tools. And one of which, this is just a simple parallel um, pneumatic gripper. And you can see we have base jaw plates that mount directly to those jaws, as well as a plate that'll mount to the backside of the gripper for the actual mounting. And then you can also see the parallel connectors that allow you to join that gripper into your flex grip tool, into the rest of that construction kit. Um, now we can talk a little bit about the fingers. So our finger kits are also available with those grippers. And what the finger kits allow you to do is have that same sort of flexibility with the parts without actually having to machine a custom finger with a step or maybe a different type of offset fingers or even a set of fingers. With these flex grip fingers, you can simply adjust that finger post position on the base rail to allow for a wider gripping range or a smaller gripping range in that part. Additionally, we also have rubber and V-jaw inserts that better allow you to adapt to what your part is. So in this case, we can see that we're gripping um, a rod here, both axially and radially. And because we have this V-jaw, we can center that part up and grip it in the same place every time. Um, we also have over here another situation where we're gripping the part on the inner diameter. So we've actually turned those uh, finger posts 180 degrees and that allows us to then grip in that opposite direction. Here we also have fingers that are offset in one direction to pick it up in a different way. So there's a tremendous amount of flexibility from gripping from one part to the next. As you can see, we have two entirely different parts here and yet we're using the exact same fingers. So all in all, what I want you to remember is that Flex Grip Tools allows you to be incredibly efficient and able to adapt on the fly your end of arm tool. You can move robot from station to station, handling different parts all the time, and Flex Grip Tools will allow you to pick everything up that you need immediately. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any other questions, please, please feel free to call in or go on our website at shunk.com.